Yeah, I want to, first of all, I want to thank everyone here for supporting black comedy. Word up, good looking out for a brother. That shit is rough being black. Word up, son. I'm only joking, I'm white. I'm white, but I perform in front of black audiences constantly. And you know what? I'm in black neighborhoods all the time, and black people never fuck with me. I can walk through bed at 3 in the morning, they don't fuck with me. Why is that? Exactly. Because they think I'm a cop. Exactly. And I'm not stupid. I act like I'm a cop going to every show. Fuck that. I'm getting there safe. <laughs> Starting from the train. There could be only two brothers on the train sitting with tons of empty seats. What would a cop still do? Stan, that's what I did the whole ride here. I was like this. <laughs> Looking right in the eyes. How you doing, sirs? Nice night, isn't it? Be safe. It's dangerous out there. Then if they don't believe I'm a cop, at every stop, I'll step out and look both ways like I'm looking for crime. I don't fuck around. If I get off the train and people start following me, I make them think I'm a cop by following, pretending I'm following somebody else. I'll hide behind a car. Okay, Officer O'Leary, we have three suspects. And they all have guns to my head. I need backup. Get me the fuck out of here. I need backup. I don't play, I'll do comedy anywhere. I gotta make it in this profession. I don't care. I did a gay club the other night. Let me clear that up. I didn't do the club. I did comedy at a gay club. You gotta do what you gotta do for $20. You gotta make your money. So there was a gay guy in the front row could not stop laughing my whole set. Now, I don't know if you ever noticed this, but the gayer you are, the slower you laugh. He was laughing in slow motion. I finished my joke, he hit me with this. is funny. <laughs> oh my God, I'm funny. What the fuck else do I want to say? No, my shit is hilarious. Fuck that. My shit is funny. I'm in a weird mood this week. My ex-girl came up to me last week pregnant, claimed it was mine. I haven't seen this bitch in five years. How's that mine? And she was a hoe, too. Nice girl, sweetheart, real gentle, loving human being, but a hoe. She was so confident it was mine, she had the baby, made me get a DNA test. She was such a hoe, we found out the baby wasn't even hers. This bitch got around, word up. <laughs> but now, I mean, I'm cool now. I'm dating a new girl, check this out. A white girl with a black ass, beat that. But it, wait, wait, it's not as good as it sounds because it's still flat, it's just the color black. It's all fucking bugging me the fuck out. Where, it's bugging me. I gotta break up with this bitch. Word up. <laughs> Fuck, it's calling me in the middle of my shit. No service. That's who, the only person that calls you indoors with Sprint is no service, right? The only place I get reception is in the store I bought it at. Every time they make a phone call, I gotta go to the Sprint store to make it and they close at nine. What a coincidence. That's when my free evenings begin. But I want to tell you the one good thing about having bad reception, you can always hang up on someone. They don't know you did it on purpose. But you can't do it while they're speaking. You have to do it while you're in the middle of some saying some shit. So it's not that obvious. You know what I'm saying? You pull out your phone. Oh, yo, this is what I wanted to tell you. Yesterday. Anyway, that's my time. My name is Jason Anders. Peace.